Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about disorder of operations. And for sure, many won't get it right. So let's talk about this given expression. Here, what we have here is 10 times 5 plus 32 divided by 4 times 3. At first, if you are not knowledgeable about the order of operations, you will start first with 5 plus 32 divided by 4 and then times 3. Now let me give you an idea on how are we going to simplify this. Let me give you the P, E, M, D, A, S, or the PEMDAS. So your P stands for the parentheses or the grouping symbols. So when you encounter this kind of symbol, this one, or maybe this one, those are the things or grouping symbols under the parentheses. Next, what about E? Exponents. You can encounter this kind of expression or this expression. What about MDAS? MDAS stands for the multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. But we will go with pairs. We have M and D. Usually, People are confused that since M is the first letter before the D, you will always go with multiplication first. But there is a special rule wherein if the division comes first from left to right, you will perform division. And if the multiplication comes first from left to right, you will go first with the multiplication. So ang rule natin dito is whichever comes first from left to right, we will perform it's either multiplication or division. Same with addition. So this one is division, multiplication. Again, multiplication, division, or division, multiplication. Same with addition and subtraction. Whichever, whichever comes first from left to right, you will perform the operation. So we can have addition or subtraction, or subtraction and addition. Now let's go with this problem. We have 10 times 5 plus 32 divided by 4 times 3. Since we have here the parentheses, it simply means that we will go first and simplify the operations inside the parentheses. Now we have 5 plus 32 divided by 4 times 3. Now here's the question. Am I going to add, divide, or multiply? Look at MDAS. So it's either multiplication or division. So look, the first operation that comes from the left is division. So we will go first with division. So we will copy 10 and this one. Then we have plus 32 divided by 4 that is equal to 8. Then copy times 3. Now, the two, the two operations inside the parentheses are plus and multiply. Again, we will go with the multiplication. Copy 10 and then 5 plus 8 times 3. That is equal to 24. And as you can see, we only have addition. So we have 10 times 5 times 24. That is 29. And all you need to do is to multiply this. 10 times 29 is equal to 290. Meaning, this one is the answer for this problem. So let me give you another example for you to simplify using this rule. So let's start with this one. And this will be the last part, or this will be your take-home activity after watching this video. We have 5 times 3 plus 24 divided by 2 times 3. Let me know in our comment section what is your answer in this problem. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maray, maraming salamat. Bye-bye!